Today, we're gonna to go ahead and explore how to use the 3D graphics window in our GeoGebra program. In our previous lesson, we learned how to plot coordinates in the 2D graphics window. These coordinates were plotted on the X and Y axis and usually represent the length and width of an object. Today, we'll learn how to use the 3D graphics window in order to plot coordinates on the Z axis. The Z axis is usually used to determine the height of an object. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can explore the different graphics windows that GeoGebra offers. Now, when working in GeoGebra, we do have the ability to switch between 2D and 3D graphics. Now, in our previous lesson, we went ahead and took a closer look at the 2D graphics window by plotting those X and Y coordinates. In today's lesson, we're gonna learn how to create a solid pyramid. And with that solid pyramid, not only are we gonna to need to plot the X and Y coordinates, but we're also going to need to go ahead and work with that Z axis, which is represented in that 3D graphics window. Notice that the toolbars in each of these views are slightly different. So be careful as you work through this activity to observe which toolbar is at the top of your screen. As we work through creating our solid pyramid, be sure to follow the instructions on your Schoology page. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is to get back into that GeoGebra program. So at the bottom of your screen, go ahead and select the GeoGebra link and open up your 2D graphics window. Once you have GeoGebra opened up, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and change our screens so that we can view that 3D graphics window. At this time, we have two windows already opened up. We have our algebra window, which is located on the left hand side. And then we have our 2D graphics or our graphics window in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and remove that algebra window and add that 3D graphics window in place of it. In order to do this, we're gonna go up to that menu bar in the upper right hand corner. Once we click on that, we're gonna go down and find view. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and uncheck algebra and go ahead and check that 3D graphics. Once you're done with that, we can go ahead and close that up so that we can see the 2D graphics as well as the 3D graphics window. You can go ahead and adjust your screens by grabbing that center bar and pulling it in so both screens are identical. Now that we have our screens that we need, we can go ahead and start to create our solid pyramid. We're gonna start off by creating that solid pyramid by using this 2D graphics window. Now notice if I click in the 2D graphics window, my toolbars are the same as what we'd used in my first challenge. However, if I go and click in that 3D graphics window, those toolbars are gonna change slightly. So we need to be aware of what tools we are using and which window we are in as we start to create something. So the first thing we need to do is create the base or the square of my pyramid. So I'm gonna make sure I click in that 2D graphics window. And from here, we're gonna create a polygon that has an ordered pair of three zero, three three, zero three, and zero zero. So we're gonna do that by selecting the polygon tool. We're gonna click on polygon, and we're gonna go ahead and put that data in. So our first ordered pair is three zero. So I'll click there, go up to three three, and what you'll notice is not only is this plotting in the 2D graphics window, but it's also plotting in that 3D graphics window as well. My third set of order pair is going to be zero three and then zero zero. Remember to complete my shape, I need to make sure I click on that starting point one last time. That will lock my square into place and now I'm ready to go ahead and give it a color. We're gonna need to change the color and the opacity for this assignment. I'm gonna go up to that styles bar. I'm gonna select a color. I'm gonna use green for this. And then I'm gonna click on that again and I'm gonna change my opacity to 50%. Notice that not only did it change in that 2D graphics, but my 3D graphics as well. Now keep in mind that you still have that polygon tool, so we need to go ahead and put it down by clicking on the move or that arrow tool. Once you are there, we can manipulate our screens. And here you can see we have both the 2D and 3D graphics window ready to go. The next step is to go ahead and give this a little bit of height. And we're gonna do that by using the 3D graphics window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in that 3D gra graphics window. My toolbar is gonna change. And from here, I'm gonna need to go ahead and select my pyramid tool. Once I select pyramid, I'm gonna go ahead and use this extrude to pyramid. This will give me a nice, even and symmetrical looking shape. 
Once you select extrude to pyramid, the next step is to change the color before we do any type of extrusion. So we're gonna go to that styles bar in my 3D graphics window. I'm gonna select that color. And again, I'm gonna make sure it's green and that the opacity is set to 50%. Now you may use whatever color you would like, but you are going to need to set the opacity to 50%. Once you have your color selected, go ahead and select the square in the 3D graphics window. This is gonna ask you to add the altitude or what coordinate we want to use for that Z axis. So we're gonna go ahead and use an altitude of five, and then we can go ahead and select okay. Once you do, it's gonna go ahead and pull that square up into the form of a pyramid. Now, before we do anything else, we're gonna to need to go ahead and put our pyramid tool down by selecting the move tool. And that's gonna go ahead and add that darker green shape. Now, once you've created your pyramid, you're gonna to need to take a screenshot of your work and add that to your Google Slides submission. 